Hi Fancy Beauty Symbols, it's your girl Gina coming back in with another video for you all. Today I'm doing two videos in one day. So this one I'm doing for you guys today or right now is going to be a foundation review. And it's over the Revlon Youth FX and it's supposed to fill and blur. So we're going to see what that does um i picked up color <laughs> let me see i picked up color cappuccino and this is supposed to be a new foundation i'm not sure how long it's been out but I was just moseying through Walmart and I saw it and I was like, okay, let me try that. Because I've always liked Revlon foundations. Um, they've never done me wrong. So let's see what this color looks like. And this is coming out like a mousse um, type of foundation. As you can see the thickness of it. Right? Right? So, we're going to see how this color is going to work. And I've already put on my moisturizer. And I think what I'm going to do... Yeah, let's use the finger. So, I don't know. It looks a little light, but we ain't got no choice. We're right here. So, we're going to go ahead and go in. If I need to fix it, I can I can fix it. No worries. No worries at all, guys. Alright, and let's see. It's just the foundation smell. It doesn't smell good and it don't smell bad. It's just your regular smell. I don't know how else to say it. Um, right now it's just giving me a light coverage. It doesn't feel heavy, so that's a good thing. I don't feel like I have to hurry and apply this. However, I do feel like I need another coat, so I'm just going to go in like this. I do my, I put my makeup on like this, y'all. When it's in the pump, too, I put it, <laughs> I put it on my face just like that. Alright, that seems to be giving me full coverage. Medium to full. And this eye look, I'm filming it as well for you guys. And we'll do a wear test with this, of course. Now, I can tell you it's giving me, <laughs> it's giving me a dewy finish. And I'm oily, so I don't know how that's going to work out. For me today, girl, cuz mm -mm. but still I'm getting a really light weight feel with this. That's what it looks like. Uh there. Alright guys, so let me go ahead and get the rest of everything done for this video and for this eye look. So I'll be back to check in with you guys once I'm done with everything. And then of course after that I'll come back and give you my thoughts of how this wore and if you should go get it or not. So hold on just a second, I'll be right back. Hey Fancy Beauties and Bows, I am back in here with my face all done 
and this is what we're looking like a um, couple things I've already noticed about the foundation but we'll get into that later um, I gotta get out of here so when I get back be hours later like eight hours later um, I will be back and I'll go over pros and cons and and all that good stuff and let you know if you should love it or leave it honey get it up and get it dip it up and trip <laughs> yeah i'm silly right now but i will see you guys later and have a great day okay stay fancy bye guys <laughs> one debt to society later what's up fancy beauties and bows welcome back to the channel just got in from work i got the baby his bath everything is done and out the way and y'all can come and see my shiny face Ooh, I got bars. I got bars. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about this foundation, okay? And this is the Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Foundation. Okay? Looks like this. So, details on it. It instantly erased the appearance of dark spots, age spots, and hyperpigmentation with this foundation powered by innovative age corrective technology with micro fillers and optical diffusers this formula works to fill and blur lines and wrinkles for immediate results okay so the benefits are wrinkles and pores look instantly smoother lightweight hydrating formula as the appearance of lines and wrinkles are smooth, high coverage foundation erases the appearance of uneven tone, age spots, and hyperpigmentation. Looks freshly applied all day. Okay. That's what it's supposed to do. Okay. So let's look at your girl's skin, right? So all in my nose area right here is shiny. Right in here. Um, now under my eyes, I still have that set matte look. Right up in here, it's not too bad. And around the other perimeter parts of my face, it's not bad. But that nose and right up in this area right here, my brow area, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Now, this foundation is not transfer resistant because it's all on my shirt, okay? And I purposely put on white today to do this review because I wanted to see if it, when it transferred, because I knew it was, how bad it was going to transfer, okay? So you see where we at? I got to hurry up because my battery is going down. Um, now I will give it the fact that I, I do look flawless. Okay. I'm not even going to trip on that. It could be the foundation. It could be everything that I did to my face because I did beat my face this morning. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, erases the lines and hyperpigmentation. I will agree uh, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, it it did pretty good with covering the hyperpigmentation. Um, the lines, are like right up under here, they are still visible, but it's not bad. Like right up under this area here, the lines are still um visible i don't have a lot of lines thank you jesus for a 51 year old woman to not have too many wrinkles thank you father um so it, i mean it's not bad but this shine right here and i didn't blot all day i want to make sure i didn't do that so you guys can see what your face may look like after 
more than eight hours of wear because I put this foundation on it 10 o'clock I think I was maybe done in like 10 30 with my whole face so it's all, almost that time right now it's a quarter to 10 right now so I mean for oily girls this ain't gonna be the one for you baby now it is giving me a very nice dewy finish and it's almost like I have like a, a highlight on underneath this, if that makes sense to you guys. But, I mean, the finish is really pretty. So if you are a dry skin, fancy beauty, this may do you good, all right? Now, let's talk about the texture of this foundation. When I put it on, I did tell you guys that it felt like the consistency of it was coming out of the tube like a mousse. Good, bad, indifferent. Whatever you like, that's what it is, okay? The color match is not bad. And I can't remember how many colors they have in this. Mm. I'm not sure. But I'm looking on Ulta's website and I'm looking at the um, reviews. So the first review I see is 41 of them. The first one I see, beautiful coverage for older women. Since using this product, my friends have remarked that my face does look younger. I will agree with her on that because I feel like a fresh Gina, you know? So, I like that. I uh, ran out of my Fenty and purchased this as a quick fix. It works, but I wouldn't buy it again or suggest it. I would not buy this again. So, I agree with them 100% on that. For as recommending, I would recommend this to drier skin types, like I said previously. Uh, doesn't blend well super thick that's true it is super thick but I didn't have a problem blending it I use my brush which I use my brush for all my foundation applications I go back through with the beauty blender if necessary to make sure everything is you know flawless uh, let's see one more Normally, I buy the higher-end brand, but seeing an ad for this, tried it and looked airbrushed. Very pleased. That's the word that I was looking for. I do feel like I look airbrushed. So, I'm not going to read any more reviews because they summed it up pretty good with everything that I said, except for a few variations, but that's what opinions are. They're, they're variations. Everyone's not supposed to agree with everything that you bring as into a review. So everything is based off your personal experience with that product. So again, I would recommend this for my older fancy beauties and bows. I like it for that reason. Will I grab for it? Not as often as I would grab for other foundations that I have in my collection, but I will grab for this. And especially in the winter months, I would probably gravitate to this more often than not. So I'll keep you updated on how, I, how it's working out when it gets colder. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are our thoughts, okay, because I got some help from my Fancy Beauties and Bows online, and this retails for $8.99, and I think I paid $4 for mine because it was in Walmart, and the darker shades in my Walmart, they are always plentiful because there's not a lot of melanin infused fancy beauties out here, <laughs> which is a plus for me because I can at least find a shade or two 
you know, in any particular brand that I may want to go for. So hip, hip, hooray for that. Okay. So until next time, Fancy Beauties and Bowls, this is your girl Gina checking out. Don't forget, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell. That way you don't miss another foundation review or another makeup review, what have you, fashion, just talking and kicking it. You won't miss any of that. And give me some comments down below. Give me some likes. And of course, I would much appreciate if you share the video in your social media platforms as well. Until next time, guys, have a great evening and I will see you in the next video. And you already know, you better stay fancy. See you guys.